Hello, this is Christina Barnes with Affordable Wonders and I wanted to make this quick tutorial. Um, the tutorial is going to be, I'm not even sure what they call it, I think they call it a thread stand. Um, I've been embroidering lately and I have a Brother SE400 um, and the past couple of projects that I've done, the thread kept snapping and I went online to find out what the heck, did some troubleshooting. So I'm starting with making a thread stand because that was like the biggest um, complaint, that and something about the, I don't know, something being dirty, clean it out, I don't know yet. Um, Thread stands, and then I went on eBay, see how much they costed, started bidding, but then they look so simple. I was like, oh, gotta be kidding me. We have all this leftover wood and whatnot from my husband building this um, addition to the house. So I went and I grabbed one. I've already started here, but this is the wood I just grabbed out of the garage. It's a pretty long one, because I figured go for broke, make it um, a stand for several threads instead of just one um, but this one I'm gonna make it for three another thing you'll need is um, these wooden dowels I got these at Michaels on the clearance rack for like 25 cents it came with a pack of one two three four six seven eight about eight nine of these right you will also need some wire I just used let's see what's this 20 gauge wire just had it in my craft room. Um, I'm sure you could use any wire that'll work. Um, I cut them out to about six inches, pieces of six inches long. Right here. Um, wire cutters. Can you see these things? Okay. Um, what else? A drill. And the drill bits I'm using are teeny teeny tiny one for my jewelry wire so you want to make sure you get something that'll work fine this is 1 16th and I got this big one um, not sure the size of it though All I did pretty much is I grabbed the dowel and I kept like switching out drill bits until I found one that matches the dowel. I'm not all technical. All right. And then you will also need something to cut your dowels with. I just use these pruning shears. And um, you wanna cut them for these small pieces. The goal here is to have your spool, this is the spool that I'm using, and they said on all the forums that I went looking through is that um, the the spool that's on the, the spool holder, I'm not even sure, I don't even sew, so this is all new to me, but anyway, um, where you put the spool on the machine, they said it's actually meant for a spool, not a cone, and that's why they said the stand, a cone stand, I guess. Now this is how you want it to fit, you don't want it to be too much taller than the cone or your thread's going to get caught up in it and I just cut it I balled it just like this and figured that's how deep I'm going to drill it in oops that's how deep I'm going to drill it in so it's stable you'll also need some type of glue after you've drilled your holes and put all your wooden dowel rods in them all right um let's see step one is of course to drill your holes. Um, I didn't do any measuring. This is my measuring tool right here. Started with that one and I measured like all the way up to my finger and <laughs> drilled this one. Did the same thing here. And I'm gonna do it again here for you guys to see. It's a process. Um, I'm gonna try and make this. I'm gonna take all these out because you'll see what the process looks like here in a minute. <laughs> Oh, that one's not coming out. All right. Sure, hope you can see this. Um, this is how I eyeballed it. Right about there is where I'll put my next one. All 
When you drill, you want to drill straight down. Oops, that was going wrong way. Can you tell I don't play with these machines? measure it that looks good to me so now I'll move on to the little hole here's my measuring device right about there on the diagonal that's the way I'm doing it I'm not sure if this is the right way but that's how it looked like on um, the store-bought one back here If you're a guy watching this and you're laughing at me, shame on you. Ha ha. Then I'll stick this in there. Measure. Mm, it could still go down a little bit more. That's perfect. There we go, see? Now the next step is to get your one of your dowel rods and drill a tiny hole in it for your beading wire. So I'm gonna switch my bits, drill bits. And grab one of these and all you're gonna do all I did, let's see if I can make it to where you can see this. Oh, uh, not cool. All right. Just a little bit down and from the top and start drilling. Straight down. just woke up. Next step, get your six inches of um, jewelry wire, insert it into the hole. You can sand all of this if you want. I'm kind of in a hurry so I'm not sanding. You could also paint, stain, all of that right about now if you're going to um, before you glue everything in. Again, here goes my nice little measuring device. I measured about two inches. And then you start wrapping. Wrap your beading wire. Tight. I went like over under. Nice and tight. This um, jewelry wire is really pliable. Hey, baby girl. Um, and I know it's not going to wrap it around again, so here what I did was I started wrapping it around this piece. Alright, 
right? Now you just keep wrapping this around until it's all gone and make sure it's nice and um, steady. Then what you're gonna do is at the end, you're gonna grab it, make like an L shape. Then I made another L shape to make this into a triangle. I actually close it all the way up. You don't have to, but that's the way I want to do it. I'd rather just thread my thread through it than to risk it slipping out. Like so. And that's it. Um, like I said, all you gotta do is put some glue in all these holes, stick it in, wait for it to dry, and start using it. Um, if you like my video as usual, leave your comments, um, like, share, subscribe. Uh, and well, I guess I'll see you next time. Don't forget to show the love. <laughs>